Alright, I'm doing this video in response with TJBZ, or however you pronounce this guy's name, with the, the $2,000 gaming PC he actually put together. It's actually around 2200 if you include the operating system. So basically he has Windows 7 Home Premium, 64-bit, a Corsair Neutron GTX 480GB SSD, the Core i7-4770K Haswell CPU, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator Pro memory, two Radeon HD 7870s and Crossfire X, the Corsair AX760i digital PSU, the Corsair H100i AIO liquid cooling system, the Corsair 600T mid-tower case, and the Corsair G1 M5 motherboard. Now some of the things he overpaid on was definitely the RAM and also the SSD. So, and also the power supply which really jacked the price up. So I'm going to get started on my version of this build and after all the promotions, sales, discounts, rebates, shipping and all that, it came out to be about 1600 which is actually considerably pretty good and probably end up outperforming in most cases. So starting off I have the AMD FX 8350. This is a 4 gigahertz 8 core processor. Now before all of you fanboys start kicking in, I want this CPU for the price for performance ratio. It is a little bit cheaper than the 3570K from Intel, which is an Ivy Bridge CPU, and that's why I went with it was because of the price. For the cooler, I went with the Zygmatech Dark Knight Nighthawk Edition, the ASRAC 990FX Extreme 4 ATX motherboard, and the reason why I shamed on the rig that he went with he went with Marker ATX and with full size ATX motherboards he'll be able to put more into his system. For the RAM I went with 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Sniper Series memory which is rated at 1866 megahertz and also with a cache latency of 9. For the storage I went with two Kingston HyperX 3K 240 gigabyte SSDs to put in RAID 0 which will definitely outperform the competition and also it's roughly $100 less than the Corsair Neutron GTX 480. So you get more speed and also the same amount of space, 408 gigabytes. For the main storage, I went with the Western Digital Caviar Black 2 terabyte 7200 RPM 3.5 inch hard drive. The reason why I went with that is because Western Digital Black drives are known for their reliability. For the graphics cards, well, not graphics cards, but graphics card. I went with a Sapphire Radeon HD 7970. Now, I was able to find this on Newegg for only 300 bucks, but they also have a promotion going on for it. So originally it's around 350, so you get a $50 discount roughly. For the case, I went with the Fractal De Design Defined R4 Mid Tower ATX case. The reason why I went with this case was because it has lots of features and a ton of room to work in and you also have removable hard drive cages so you can put very long graphics cards in. And for the power supply I went with the Corsair Builder 600 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply. Again it's a very reliable CPU and for the optical drive I just decided to skip that so just take one out of the system with SATA. That easy. And for the OS Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit service pack one. And again, the price of this build, after all the promo discounts, combos, and mailing rebate shipping, 1543.89. I'd like to see this guy beat this trick for sure, because the downside of Crossfire, you actually use up roughly the same amount of power, if not a little bit more power. But I'm keeping energy efficiency out of this factor because seeing this is probably going to be strictly for gaming from what I am assuming. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. And also, going with a single card means you would have more room inside your case and less heat. Mm -hmm.